all science is going down. I tried to warn people. I've been telling people for years. False science is going down. It doesn't line up with the word of God. It's a lie. Now in this video I'm going to quickly give you a way to understand how false science works. False science is clever enough to trick a logical intelligent mind. This is why so many people that are intelligent and logical people will fall for false science. It actually makes sense. Now this is the part that is so hard for so many people to wrap their heads around is that false science can make sense and be wrong at the same time. The way this works is that we see evidence for something in our world. We will see an experiment or we will see evidence. We will see a phenomena. We will see something happening in our universe. And there's usually at least two possibilities for what we're seeing, sometimes even more. But false science will take one of these possibilities and it will choose the wrong one. And this happens at every level of false science so that there's always a very real possibility being chosen, but it's the wrong one all the time. And so step by step the logical mind can be tricked. It's almost like trick photography. And this is the mechanics of the false science, and this is why it's so hard for so many people to understand because it makes sense in their heads that they've, they've seen the diagram, they've studied the courses, it, it, it jives, it's making sense, it, it's matching possibilities that we're seeing, but the wrong possibility being chosen. It's still wrong even though it seems right. And there's a spiritual root to all this as well. This goes deeper than just physical evidence and science courses. I mean, there's a spiritual component to all of this, and I've told people this, and some believe me and some don't. But basically, there is an attack on God's Word. This attack on God's Word is all around the world, but it is also taking place in science. And the way that this started was, you have atheist men involved in science and they start promoting unbiblical ideas and start convincing people that they know more than the Bible and that their opinion and their experiments and their research shows the truth and God's word does not tell us the truth. And the first time they did this was with the earth spinning. They convinced the world that the earth was spinning, and, and this was an unbiblical concept. This did not line up with scripture, and this was the first time they did this, and when they were able to do this, it opened the door for many more lies, and false science got a real start when people started believing that the earth was spinning, because God's word was no longer the final authority. It was no longer the way to tell the truth from the error. And so people started believing scientists and believing so-called experts instead of the Bible. And it's going on today too. There, there's a very real attack on God's word and it's it's done by claiming that the facts show the Bible is wrong. And so you will notice that there's an attitude that exists in the universities and the colleges and in the education system. You'll notice that there is a anti-God, anti-Bible attitude. It's very real and people that are Bible believers or that they believe in creation, they're made to feel very stupid, they're looked down on, they're mocked, and these people that are mocking them are the ones that believe in false science. So in all reality the joke is on them, but for the time being they are going to believe that they're right, they're going to be proud, they're going to be arrogant and they're going to make fun of believers and, and you see this everywhere and their, their pride, it, it's going to backfire it's really going to backfire big time because they are actually following a lie yet they think they are right and so basically this start this starts out with, with an atheist scientist or professor that um, you know hundreds of years ago starts teaching things that are unbiblical and you know 
they don't want to teach something that promotes God. They don't want to teach something that promotes the Bible. Their spiritual stance is that God does not exist and the Bible is not true. So they're going to present evidence that the Bible is not true. They're going to present things that show that um, God doesn't exist. They're going to, you know, they're going to try to get God out of the picture, out of the scene, um, and they're very clever at doing it. And so, like I say, an atheist is always going to give um, a different definition for what we see, and it gets. It goes on and on and on. I mean, it's it's a battle. Like I mean, it's like creation versus evolution, and you will see them using riddle tactics. I call it riddle tactics, where they will make a claim that cannot be proven or disproven. I mean, for years they they looked for transitional fossils to back up evolution. They couldn't find them, so they switched tactics, and, and now they're saying that everything is a transitional fossil, and it's changing so slowly that. We just can't see it happen, you know. And this is a classic riddle tactic because there's no way to prove it or disprove it. I mean, how do you prove something like that? You can't. And so, all science proof is totally reliant on riddle tactics. And you'll see, as soon as you pressure false science, they run to riddle tactics immediately because they can't run to proof. It's not true. It's actually a lie. So they actually cannot use concrete proof and evidence they have to use real tactics and this is one thing that you'll find and, and I get a kick it up myself when I I debate with atheists and uh, watching them run to riddle tactics so quickly and, and so often and they don't understand that it's a riddle tactic but this is what they've been trained to do without them even realizing they, they've been trained to run to riddle tactics as well and they don't even understand that this is what they've been trained to do and another thing that they'll do is They'll do something that I call playing the expert card. You know, the, I know more than you because I went to college and I went and paid all this tuition and I spent all these hours in the classroom learning false science. Therefore, I am right and you are wrong. You know, because they believe that they are smarter than you because they have been indoctrinated into false science. And since they have learned false science, they believe that they now know more than you. And so they play this expert card. Like, I'm the expert and you are not. I'm intelligent and you are stupid. And this is what they do. And, and you'll see this happening all the time. And you're going to see the pride and the arrogance. And, you know, I also should mention too, though, that it's not an us versus them thing. You know, like a believer is actually on the side of the atheist. A lot of believers used to be atheists. It's not us versus them. This is about truth, this is about getting to the bottom of it, this is about finding out what is actually going on. And like for me, it's it's exposing this agenda that is aimed towards discrediting the Bible. This has been going on for a long time. And discrediting believers and trying to make the truth look stupid when it's actually the truth. You know, we were created by a supernatural spirit with extreme intelligence. And you can see this intelligence in the things that are created like the Bible says, it's very complex, even a cell, it's like a little factory, I mean, it's design and the amount of intelligence that went into every living creature is far beyond human intelligence, and it, it was planned, and it was designed, and it's not hard to see that it was planned, um, and so like I said, supernatural spirit is behind everything we see, and this is the truth they fight with. This is what they're going to fight with you all day about. They don't want that to be true. They don't want the Bible to be true. And so, like I say, their spiritual possession is they don't want the Bible to be true. They don't want God to be true. And so, it comes out in the curriculum. Like right now, it's just the curriculum. But, you know, hundreds of years ago, it was actually just men that wrote the curriculum deciding what was going to be taught and what wasn't going to be taught. And so, right now, it's almost like a censorship program, even now, where they will censor out. Um, any kind of science that's linked to God, and they will, it's a very secular science program being taught to these masses. It's very secular, and it's, uh, it's false science. It's true science being taught alongside false science. They're both being taught at the same time. Um, and so a lot of these people, they will believe that it's all true science, but like I say, I'm telling you, it's a mixture of true science and false science. And the false science that exists in the curriculum is actually the very parts that contradict the Bible. The Bible is telling the truth. 
Thanks for watching.